This is a video to help FU420B troubleshoot his starter motor problems. To get started, let's take a look at the starter motor. So what we've got on the solenoid of the starter then is this nut here. Now this is where the 12 volts comes in on the big, heavy, thick cable from the battery positive. This guy here, it's a single pin connector that is a, one of those pinch-on connectors, plastic connectors and there's a single pin so the connector that mounts to this has one single pin in it obviously now as you can see from this nut here down to this nut here this nut connects to the starter through this braided uh, type of wire so when this solenoid gets triggered what happens well this is the trigger wire right when you get 12 volts come in on this pin it triggers this guy, it makes a click noise. That's the click you hear sometimes when the battery, when the car doesn't start. When you hear the click and the solenoid engages, you get the plus 12, get connected inside this guy, and then you get plus 12 volts here. Then that plus 12 volts will go through the braided cable and into the starter motor, and the starter will then be energized and start to spin. So the ground then, that this guy gets connected to chassis ground, is going to be through the actual body itself. So all you've got coming into this guy is one single trigger wire and the fat, heavy 12 volt wire. The starter motor is wired into the car with a diagram something like this. You've got chassis, chassis which is the engine and the actual body itself. So the battery negative cable is typically connected to that and the positive then runs on a big fat black wire over to the big nut on the starter solenoid and from that nut then a red wire goes all the way over to the alternator and then there's this trigger wire which comes from the ignition switch on my car it's a black and red wire and that trigger comes into the solenoid and as we said the trigger will energize the solenoid switch which will connect the battery from here to the actual starter and make the starter turn. When you turn the key, if you don't hear a click, you hear nothing, there's a good chance that the trigger wire is not, does not have the signal on it to actually trigger the solenoid to energize it. So let's take a look at the circuit for the trigger wire. The wiring diagram for my Golf Cabrio car is something like this. I hope that it's uh, not too difficult for most anyone who's watching this. You've got a battery, and then the battery runs uh, positive 12 volts into the fuse panel. So none of this is fused yet. And then out of the fuse panel, you've got the, the wire and it goes to some uh, starter disable relay for the alarm system. What this is, it's just an electrically controlled switch. Now also, you've got the wire comes through the ignition switch so when you turn the key this guy will close and connect these two wires together and then you get the plus 12 volts will go down to the clutch pedal switch when you push the clutch you close this switch and you make the connection then that will go into the relay the relay will get energized and that will then close the switch on this side and then that will make the connection here through to the trigger wire so this trigger wire then should have 12 volts on it here. If you have a problem and you don't have 12 volts on your trigger here at the starter, then you may have a, a broken wire itself. Maybe you don't have 12 volts coming here because this wire is broken or corroded or loose or something. Perhaps your clutch pedal switch is not making proper contact. Maybe your ignition switch is bad. So what you want to do is find this disable relay, make sure you got 12 volts here when the key is on and the clutch pedal is pressed. You want to make sure you got 12 volts here. When you, enter, when you close this guy and this guy by turning the key, pressing the clutch, you want to make sure you got 12 volts here and 12 volts here. If you don't have 12 volts on your trigger wire at the starter, then the solenoid won't get energized, you won't get any click, you won't get any noise, nothing. The thing will be just dead. But if you do get 12 volts here and the starter still does not turn, then you may not have enough voltage on this wire here. You should get 
battery voltage, which is approximately 12.4 to 12.6 volts here. And when the trigger energizes this guy, you should at least get a click. If you do get a click, it means that the trigger is working, the solenoid is working, and chances are you either have a weak battery or a bad connection from the battery to the starter or the starter to the chassis to the battery because you've got a loop like this. So you want to check your connection here that it's not corroded or loose. You want to check that your connection here is good as well as your battery negative terminal and your starter ground. What you need to do then is take your voltmeter probes you take your black one and you would put that on the actual battery cable itself and you put the positive on the battery cable and you should be measuring when the car is turned off nothing you should be getting at least 12.4 volts 12.4 volts is the battery 25 percent discharge or at only 75 percent capacity if you're measuring 12.2 volts the battery is 50 percent discharge so you should be getting a, a 12.6 volts when you measure the battery here when someone goes to turn the key the battery voltage across this guy should measure something like 11 volts something like that maybe 10 I wouldn't want to see it more than less than 10 if it does fall to 11 or 10 that should be happening while the starter is actually turning and you're hearing the engine crank over to check the trigger what we need to do is disconnect the actual connector on the trigger put the voltmeter on that connector pin that you've undone now on, on the wire side and then you take your negative probe you put it on your battery now you'd get your wife or friend to turn the key and you'd look for 12 volts on the trigger wire and you should see 12 volts on the trigger wire if you do see 12 volts on the trigger wire well then you may have a problem with the actual starter motor itself if you don't see 12 volts on the trigger wire then you're gonna to have to go back through the system and check out your your alarm disable relay or your ignition switch all that stuff that we've already discussed in the event that you do get 12 volts here and if the starter does not turn or make any noise get yourself a two foot stick with a hammer put the stick on the body of the starter here somewhere give it a couple of light taps not too heavy just light taps what that would do is that would move the insides of the starter and hopefully move it from a dead spot if you hit it too hard you could damage the starter inside because the starter has permanent magnets on the inside if you bang it hard you could break them from the shell and they could fall in and interfere with the armature and you could basically destroy the starter when you try to start it so if you turn the key and you do hear a click noise but the starter doesn't start the problem may not be with the starter itself but it may be in a poor connection or a weak battery so the weak battery would be determined by measuring the voltage across the battery turning the key and if the battery voltage across the two terminals on the lugs themselves falls below say 10 volts then you know the battery is dead and needs to be recharged or it has a dead cell and the battery needs to be replaced so when you hear the click but the starter doesn't turn what you should do is put your two probe meters on the battery terminals not on the cables but on the terminals themselves and make sure you get 12 point something volts now then you would put one probe here and one probe on the cable itself and try it again you should get less than 0.1 volt of a measurement here you'd want to put your key probe here and one probe on the nut and then you would turn the key to start and measure the voltage you'd want it to be less than 0.2 volts similarly you'd want to put your probe on the negative and on the actual starter body itself um, preferably where the nut is and get someone to turn the key and as the starter tries to turn or it is turning you would want to measure the voltage there you want that to be less than 0.2 volts because overall you want the voltage from these two points here say you measure 12.4 volts when you measure the voltage from here to here you would want this to be higher than 12.0 volts so what you want is if this is 12.4 this should be greater than 12.0 you need less than 
0.4 volts drop across this wire and this wire together. If you get more than 0.4 volts drop in this wire and this wire together, you need to either replace the wire itself or remove the battery uh, lug and clean it up, make sure it's nice and clean, no corrosion, and these connections are tight. This connection with the chassis is tight and the starter body to the chassis is tight. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.